What's up guys, Andre here and today I wanted to show you how to use Laravel Mix outside of a Laravel project. Now for me personally, I do a lot of front-end work implementing designs, slicing up PSDs into HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Uh, for these projects, I don't necessarily need to use Laravel, but want the convenience of using something like Laravel Mix. Uh, I used to use Gulp a lot, but if you're using any modern JavaScript framework like React or Vue, it requires the use of Webpack. Now if you've ever used Webpack before, you know that it can get super confusing to set up at first. I know I get frustrated when I just want to do some basic things like compile my SAS, concatenate some files, and maybe use something like Vue.js. Luckily, our good friend Jeffrey Wei has created Laravel Mix and describes it as an elegant wrapper around Webpack for the 80% use case. I think it's great. I use it all the time for the majority of my projects, and I wanted to show you how to use it here outside of a Laravel project. So let's get started. We are here at the Laravel Mix GitHub repository. If we go into the docs and the installation documentation, here you can see the steps for installing it using a Laravel project and installing it using a standalone project. So let's go ahead and follow these steps. So let's make a directory called, let's call it Laravel Mix. And let's see the into it. And we can do npm init minus y. That's just going to make a package.json file as you see there. And what's the next step? And now we can npm install Laravel Mix and we can save it to our dependencies. Okay, that's done. So the next step is to copy the webpack.mix.js file into our own directory. And now we can open up in Sublime. Okay, so you can see that there is a webpack.mix.js file here, and this is where we'll be doing all of our configuration. Um, if we go back to the documentation, there's one more step we have to do here, and that's copying these scripts and adding this to our package.json file, because we're going to be making use of these scripts when we build and watch our configuration here. So let's go into our package.json and let's add our scripts here. Okay. So now here we're going to describe our own directory structure here. I like to use something similar to what Laravel uses in my own projects. Um, so in Laravel there's a resources js app.js and it's the output is going to be in public js and the same for our SAS. So resources uh, let's call it SAS app.sass and public CSS. So let's go ahead and create that in our directory structure here. So let's make a new folder called public. Let's make a new folder called resources. And within here, let's make a new folder called JS. Let's make a new folder called uh, SAS. And let's make a new file called app.js. And let's make a new folder file called app.scss. And from within our public folder, let's create a new file called index.html. And we're just going to populate this with some boilerplate HTML. Uh, let's call it Laravel Mix. We don't need this. No, we don't need that. We okay. We don't need that. 
you can just I think it's called app yeah it's called app.css and we don't need this JavaScript over here we need our own JavaScript which is called js app.js okay so let's I'm using Laravel valet so let's go ahead and mix dot dev and hit this in the browser yeah obviously there's nothing there so let's put some lower mipsum in there okay so let me just move this to the right and move this to the left and hide the sidebar now let's go into our app dot scss file and let's define some basic sass here let's just make a variable called primary red body background primary and that should be good now if we go into our console and run npm run dev this should compile it down and it does so if we go back into our browser, refresh, should be read. Awesome. Now let's check if that works in the JavaScript. We'll just do an alert. Hello. Save it. Bring up our console to npm run dev again. And let's check if the JavaScript worked. And it did. Now what you can do here is you can run npm run watch and that's gonna watch both your JavaScript and your CSS. So any changes here, changes. It's gonna compile it automatically. Same with your SAS. Awesome. Now if you wanted to use something like jQuery, here's what you would do. Uh, let's stop our watcher. Let's npm install jQuery save dev. And let's go into our app.js. We don't need this for now. And we would do something like this. Window dot dollar sign equals window dot jQuery equals require jQuery and that should pull in jQuery and if we just do some generic jQuery here body dot append and we'll just append another paragraph added from jQuery This should work. Let's do npm run dev again. And there it is, added from jQuery. Now, if you want to add something like view, uh, we can do something like this. Let's install it first. npm install view. When save dev. And while that's going, we can just include view here, window.view equals require view. Now let's make an example component. So here's what you would do to define that. View.component, let's call it example. Let's require it in. Let's put it in a components directory and call it example.view. And we also have to create a new view instance. Let's go ahead and do that. New view. And we will bind it to the div with an ID of app.
and that should do it. Hopefully that's done. Yep, it's done. So let's go ahead and make that components directory within our JS folder. Components. And from within there, we're going to add a new example.view file. And here we'll define a template and we'll just say example view component. And from our index.html file, let's go ahead and um, make a wrapper here. And let's put our example component right here. Now, if we run npm run dev, hopefully this works. Refresh, and there's our example view component right there. Awesome. Now, if you wanted to live reload, uh, Laravel Mix comes with browser sync out of the box. So we can do, so if we go back to our webpack.mix.js. If we do dot browser sync and specify the proxy here, Laravel Mix.dev, this should enable browser sync after we run npm run watch. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to install another dependency and this will take a sec. Okay, that's done. We have to run npm run watch again. And now we have browser sync running. So any changes we make in our SAS say it to red it's going to automatically reload awesome let's change something in our example view component changed view component that change right there and let's just make sure our javascript updates as well changed from jquery there you go so it's live reloading everything that we needed to, except the index.html file. So if you change this, it's not going to automatically reload it because um, in Laravel, the rules for that are are already are already defined, but we have to define it ourselves here because the structure is a bit different in our own personal project. So to do that, we would go back to our webpack.mix.js and we're going to specify some options here when we pass it into browser sync. Um, so the first one is just the proxy like we just did. It's Laravel mix.dev in our case. And for the second parameter, it's going to be a files array and we're going to specify all the files that need to be watched um, so in our case it has to be public slash star star slash star dot html and that's going to watch the html files but we also have to make sure that our css and our javascript is still being watched so we're going to add that in too so public CSS star star dot star dot CSS and public JS star star dot uh, slash star dot JS. That should do it if I could spell. So let's fix that. And that should do it. Let's give that a shot. Let's, let's run it again. If 
Okay. So red, let's check our CSS, change it back to green. Okay, let's check our JavaScript. Oh my god. Okay, that changed. Let's check our jQuery. And let's see if the HTML changes. And excellent, it does. So as you can see, we've utilized Laravel Mix outside of Laravel to do basic things like compiling our SAS uh, and using Vue.js without the headache of configuring Webpack. I hope this was useful to someone out there. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I plan on making more content. And yeah, see you in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye.